Hello scholars, here I am with video 4 of topic safety and first aid. I am sure you have seen first 3 videos very carefully and you have also read the book. Today what we are going to see is about the first aid. What to do if some animal bites or there are ear bleeds, nose bleeds or eye wounds. So let's see these situations one by one. Many times we see the dogs on the road and they are called as the stray dogs. Okay. So if that stray dogs or the cats they bite us what to do? When they bite the germs enter in our body along with the saliva of them and it causes a very dangerous disease called rabies. So if these animals bite what to do? First we have to wash the wound with clean running water and tie a bandage and then immediately we have to go to the doctor for further treatment. Here you can see the picture of dog but the second and third picture are different you know. They are not of dogs or cats. The second picture is of bee and third one is snake. So if these bees or snake bite what to do? Let's check it out. For bee and wasping what to do? We have to apply paste of baking soda or antiseptic cream on the affected area. If poisonous snakes bite, then what we have to do? We have to try to keep the person calm and tie a tight bandage around the wound. We get very scared when we see the snake and if that snake bites, that person becomes so much scared, so much anxious. So, in this situation, we have to try to keep that person calm and tie a tight bandage around the wound. Why to tie the bandage? Because this bandage slows down the flow of poisonous blood from reaching the heart and other body parts. As the poisonous snake bites, that blood that poison enters in the blood and then it may reach to the whole body parts and to the heart. So we have to tie the bandage and then we have to take that victim or that injured person immediately to the hospital for further treatment. The next situation is about the eye wound. Here you can see in the picture one eye is in fine condition but there is a problem with second eye and it has become reddish and watery. So what to do in such conditions? We have to cover the victim's eye with clean soft clothes. Do not wash or clean the eye and then after covering the eye with clean soft clothes we have to take the victim to the hospital. The next situation is about ear bleeds. Sometimes because of a serious head injury, the ears may bleed. So in this situation, what to do? Do not put anything in the ear. Make the victim lie down with the bleeding ear facing down. And then call for the help. The last situation is about the nose bleed. Here you can see in the picture, the blood is coming from the one nostril. Nose bleed occurs frequently in children, especially during summer. And even a head injury can also cause the nose to bleed. So, what we have to do? Make the victim to lie on the side of the face. Scholars, there are different position of the body for ear bleeds and for the nose bleed. You can see these pictures in the textbook. So, 
I wish that when you are watching the video, just keep your textbook in front of you and then go through the textbook as well. So in nosebleed, make the victim to lie on the side of the face. Why to do that? Because that blood may enter into the windpipe and because of that, the victim can choke up. So to prevent this choking, we have to make the victim to lie on the side of the face. Scholars, so what we have learnt in this video? We have learnt about how to give the first aid for animal bites like dog, bees, poisonous snake or what to do in the situations like ear bleed, nose bleed and eye wounds. I hope you have understood and I want you to see it in the textbook as well. Thank you.